So this week on Freelink Finds, uh, we're going to do the third part of our trilogy on outstanding historical resources to do research at uh, here in the Fredericksburg area. Uh, this week we're going to be featuring the Virginiana Room in the basement of the Central Rappahannock Regional Library's downtown branch here at 1201 Caroline Street. <laughs> So we're here with Nancy Moore, the manager of the Virginiana Room, which is in the basement of the of the main uh, library branch here downtown. And uh, Nancy, uh, I think you've got an example of uh, a way that you can illustrate the, the resources that are available here in the Virginiana Room that you wanted to tell us about? Sure. I was going to try to tell you the story of Mary Berkeley Minor Blackford, who uh, lived from 1802 to 1896. She was a very unusual person. Her husband, William, was the um, publisher of one of the local newspapers, The Political Arena. Hmm. They owned slaves, but she was opposed to slavery. And she is known for, at, at some peril, teaching young black children how to read the Bible. And she did it in her house. Her house is at, was at 214 Caroline Street. House still stands. And we have what we call lot histories. We have a history of that house that talks about what she did when she was there. Um, there's a book that her grandson wrote about her. And she said, among other things, our laws require that slaves be kept in profound ignorance, the penalty being $50 fine or three months in prison for anyone who should teach one of them to read unless it was his or her slave. I have myself been twice threatened by the grand jury for teaching on Sunday a few colored children to read their Bibles. So, uh. I, you know, she's a really, really cool person. There was a house up the street that was a slave jail. It's where they held slaves that had been brought in on ships waiting to be sold on the slave auction block. And um, she was so upset about the slave jail that was just a few doors up from her house that she got a friend of hers who was a Yankee to buy the house, and it shut down the slave jail. Now, to find things in the Virginia Room, one of the best things we have are microfilms of newspapers back to 1787. We also have indexes. I looked up in our obituary index and found out that her obituary Here's Mary Blackford, September 17th, 1896, in the Freelance. Hmm. And um, I went to the microfilm. These are wonderful digital microfilm readers. I just went back to September. I found her obituary. It was just a little blurby thing. But um, people from all over the country love our stuff here because it is indexed. Mm -hmm. um, a guy named Robert Hodge who taught uh, at James Monroe and at Germana indexed. I mean, if you look up Robert Hodge, there's 150 books that we have. Most of them are indexes of newspapers, um, all kinds of neat stuff like that. Um, books and books and books. We got maps. You can see her here on this map just where she lived. It says Minor and Mari. The slave jail was right there. Um, this was John Hennessy, the Park Service historian, put this together, Fredericksburg in 1860. Mm -hmm. But it's really cool. That's really cool. So what are the hours of operation of the Virginia? The hours, Road? it's mostly open during the day, weekdays, Monday through Friday. We do have somebody knowledgeable here pretty much every day of the week, but not at night. Well, it's a great resource, and uh, Nancy, we appreciate everything that you, okay. that you do and that everyone at the, the, well, uh, the library does to keep us all informed. Uh, well, a we're a little resource. hidden down here, yeah. so. Um, you know, tell well, people this to will help. come on down. Yeah. 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 Thank you. All right. So thanks, Nancy. Yeah. All right. So thanks to Nancy Moore for showing us around the Virginia Honor Room. Uh, we enjoyed learning more about that great historical resource. 
And um, so this wraps up our three-part trilogy, and hopefully this was uh, helpful to you to see all the great uh, historical resources that we have here in Fredericksburg to learn about our city's rich history in HFFI, the Central Rappahannock Heritage Center, and the Central Rappahannock Regional Library. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.